grandma, but a lot of people know you as mom. You are also great grandma to a lot of great grandchildren now. So what has it been like for you getting to raise kids and then watch them raise grandkids and just to be able to watch this next generation grow up? I'm just blessed. We're just blessed to know that the moms and dads, our grandchildren, our children, are learning from God's Word. I'm just so grateful that it's been passed on for the generations, and now I get little videos of our great-grandkids, and they're, they're doing the motions to, to Bible verses and so into it. Um, it's just so exciting. And when I get a video where they come by and share something, you're so excited to tell you. Nothing makes my heart jump with joy more than that. There's just nothing like it. Yes. Well, I wonder, Grandma, if I can put you back in um, the mindset of when you became a new mom and how how busy things were and how much attention your you know, little baby needed. There, there may be lots of moms watching this who are in that phase right now of just the busyness of taking care of little children. And I wonder if, if you can put yourself back in that mindset and what advice would you give to these moms or what encouragement would you give to them as they're raising children? It's easy to get busy and back when there weren't automatic washers and there weren't dryers and there weren't clothes that were permapress and all that. You say, well, that could be the reason. No. For me, it was just simply taking the time. You'll never have the time. You'll never have the time. All of us, in whatever it is, say, I'm going to do this. No, if I have time, no. Take the time, whatever it is, a few minutes, different times during the day. Don't depend on your strength not to wear out today. You're going to be very tired. Yes. <laughs> but he gives you the strength, and you can lay your head on the pillow and say, just thank you, Lord. Get up in the morning and say, before your feet get on the floor, just say, thank you that I can wake up and hear the birds and my eyes can see the sunshine. And well, the, the, the verse that comes to mind right now, I think it's Psalm, Psalm 118, 24, I think. This is a day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And so you can make up your mind you're going to do that in the morning, ask God to help you do that. Or you can say, oh boy, today i got to do that. How am I ever going to do it? And you start out that way, and you have a very, very, very unhappy day because you're anticipating all that could go wrong and saying, he can't do it. Yeah, he can. I've seen it happen many times, and I, yeah. He can do it. We limit him. He's not limited. Grace, he's not limited. We are. No question. Wow. No question. 